guys, it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be crocheting a baby blanket using the basket weave stitch and using Bernat baby velvet yarn in the color peach blossom. I'm really excited to get started. Um, I have a friend that I met on a vacation a while ago and she's having a baby girl. So I thought this would be like the perfect time to make her a little baby blanket and document it because I've never done the basket weave stitch before and I'm really excited to try it. Oh, also I couldn't find my five millimeter hook and I thought I was going to have to use this gift that um, Cody got for me. <laughs> and this would not be very practical. Really funny, not very practical. Okay, so I crocheted um, a chain that is 30 inches long because that's how long I want my baby blanket to be. But then I also just checked in with the basket weave stitch. Um, the tutorial that I'm following, I'll link in the description below and I'll put it up here. Um, but I forgot you have to chain in multiples of eight and then plus seven on your last one. So I have to go back and count to make sure it's okay. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit longer than 30 inches because I had to add in a couple extra stitches to get us to that ratio. But I also was thinking, sorry, camera's over here. But I also was thinking like, you know how, I don't know if anybody's ever watched Julian Solomita's cooking videos, like how he loves to cook and he doesn't really follow like recipes as much as he just kind of like throws things in and there's lots of cooks like that, but how you can't do that with baking. Sometimes I feel like I'm like that when I'm trying to follow a pattern. Like if I was just making a blanket, I'd be like, oh, let's just try it out, let's experiment. But whenever I'm trying to follow a pattern, I'm just like, oh no, it'll be fine. I don't usually measure. And then it turns out horrible because I didn't follow the pattern. Yeah, I don't know if that made sense, but that's where my mind's at right now. Okay, also to explain what I'm doing, I'm just going to do a row of double crochet all the way across, and then we will get into the fun stuff. Okay, so I finished my first row of, of double crochets, and now we get to start the fun part. So I'll let you know when I've done the first little bit of the basket weave pattern. You really can't see any of the details here. Oh, okay, so now where you're beginning to see the basket stitch a little bit, there it is. Okay. Yeah, she's really cute. Um. I'm getting really excited. Obviously, I have a lot more to work on for this blanket. Um, I love it. Okay. But now every shot's just gonna have me, like, in the back, like, you know those alligator, like, pictures? <laughs> I'm gonna have to insert one. But, like, ah, oh, so cute. I love this so much. I'm getting so excited. Okay. Um, I might do a little montage of me crocheting now. this project was going to be a quick and easy project maybe because it was like a baby blanket but um it's been hours that's what we got so far i mean like honestly super cute super cute i love it a lot but um it's also not very interesting or entertaining so i'll probably do another montage of me like crocheting a little crochet with me and then i'll cut to when it's finished We'll ship it out together, and that'll be that.
okay, I finished the basket weave baby blanket. Um, it's funny because while I was making this, I was thinking about how um, the person that I had given this to already ordered a crochet bandana in this color from me in the summer. So she's gonna have a little matching bandana with her baby blanket for her new baby girl. It's gonna be really cute. And I'm really happy with the way the blanket turned out. If I were to do it again, I probably would use a bigger crochet hook because it's very uh, tight. It's not very loose or flexible, this blanket. But I think a perk of that is that the little baby's fingers won't get caught in any loose stitches or anything. And I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm really excited to mail this to my friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to see every time that I post. Um, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, um, check out my Etsy page, and I will see you guys next week, Sunday at noon. Bye.